God, this is the hardest thing I've ever had to do. Please stop screaming. I can't take the screaming anymore. Hey, loveys, welcome back to the six infant and a puppy challenge. We've done it. We have made it to their birthdays. Let's just hope we can get all of them aged up before someone gets taken away. Who's crying? I hear tears. Oh, it's Ivy. It's intense. I oh, my word. Ivy, you're starving. Please don't anger intense Ivy. Smile at Hillary and Hillary might feed you, okay? Never, ever, ever anger intense Ivy. Don't be fooled. She's going to lull you in with a false sense of security. Like she's all sweetness and light, but she's evil, I tell you. Evil. Deacon, where did you get the beard? Deacon has aged so much. He's waking up with a full face of hair. Can I rely, please, on the nanny feeding the rest of them while Deacon makes a cake? Deacon, can you go make a cake? He's going to feed whoever that is first. Who's that? I don't know who that is, Scarlett. Oh, well done. Well done, Deacon. Yes, feed your babies without being told to do it. Well done, Deacon. That's another one fed. Okay. The nanny is dealing with Ivy. Careful, she bites. <laughs> Hillary didn't feed her. <laughs> Seb is happy. Oh, his tornado is gone. Ivy is still starving. Right, Deacon is busy making a cake. We're going to age up um, Wayne straight away. How you doing, Deacon lovey? Darling, you don't have to just stand and stare at it. Could you just stir it a bit, please? And then you need to go shave. You don't look right with a beard. Although he just look quite dapper. Why are you all crying? What's the matter? You're full up. You're full up. You're full up. Babies, you're almost all full up. You've got nothing to complain about. Are there any babies in the nursery? Just one. I'm going to unlock this door. In you come, babies. Careful. Don't fall over in the rubbish. Come on, babies. <laughs> Find something to do. There's lots of things to play with in here. Deacon, you didn't finish the cake. Come and resume the strawberry cake. How long does it take to make this cake, Deacon? Do you know what? We haven't had a single fire yet. Deacon, please cook. Deacon. <laughs> Deacon. Deacon, please cook the cake. Don't put alcohol in it. I mean, actually, that might help. They might sleep better. <laughs> Who's awake? Why are you crying? Oh, oh, oh. Kevin. I forgot about Kevin. Oh, no. Kev. Nanny, come feed Kevin, please. I forgot about Kev. All the babies have put themselves to sleep. <laughs> With the puppy. Oh, oh, Wayne is up. Oh, good, because Wayne, it's your birthday. Deacon, you've left the cake unattended, mate. You broke my coffee machine. Lady. That's the most important object in this house. Well done, Deacon. Right, now we need to put... Where are you going? Where are you going? Candles. Adbert, do not eat the cake. Are you ready to age up, Wayne? He is. Candles help. Here we go. One of them is aging up. I can't believe I've managed to keep them alive this long. Oh, my word. He's earned a bonus trait as well. Oh, he's an angel. But he's an unhappy infant. <laughs> he had an unfortunate start to life. Expect him to be headstrong and defiant. This is going to be easy. Oh, my word. Look at him. Oh, God. He seems so massive. What do you need? You're hungry. Okay. Um... That anything you can do. Eat a piece of cake. All they're going to eat is cake. Right, it's also Kevin's birthday. Kevin is currently absolutely starving. What's this? Why is rubbish appearing on the floor? Deacon, back in the kitchen, mate. You've got another cake to make. <laughs> can I just say, I don't recommend having six infants. They're all hungry again. Kevin's going to be aging up shortly, so I'm not so worried about him. But Ivy very much needs to eat. So does Seb. Deacon, yes. Please feed Sebastian. Deacon, food. Deacon, bottle. Now, bottle. Deacon, give him a bottle. <laughs> Deacon, give him a bottle. No! <laughs> no! Right, did no one feed Ivy yet? Where is the captive lady? She's in the bathroom. Okay. Is that Deacon? Oh. At least he got the cake in the oven first. Carry on cooking, Deacon, please. Did anybody feed Ivy? No, they just shoved her in a cart. Lady? You were meant to be feeding my baby and you just put her in a cart. I don't think she cares. Oh, well done, Deacon. This is not at all what you're supposed to be doing. But he's actually doing something right. He's giving a baby a bath. Is that nice, Sebastian, darling? No, no. No, no, feed her. Right, okay, she's being fed. Careful, you hit the baby in the head. Poor Seb. Add candles. And then bring Kevin to the birthday cake. Oh, Deacon, you didn't put the candles on, mate. Let me put the candles on first. Right, Kevin is about to age up. This is two. Baby number two has aged up. Right, and then we put candles on this again so we don't have to keep making more cake. Kevin, are you aging up? Kevin? Uh, 
Kevin is always going to be a baby now. Um, Kevin, age up. Kevin! Yeah, that didn't work. Let's try again. Okay, Deacon, put Sebastian down. <laughs> Where are you going? Deacon, why are you going outside? I'll sit. Yeah, put the baby outside. It's cold and it's going to rain soon. But yeah, put the baby outside. That's fine. Deacon, come and help Sebastian. Kevin, baby, this baby here. Right, let's try again. Yes, well done. Right, Kevin is cautious and mean. Right, Kevin has aged up. Did he, did he earn a bonus trait? Oh, yeah, he did. He's also unhappy. I don't think there's going to be any of them that aren't. Kevin, you need to get yourself a piece of cake because you are hungry. You now have to sort yourself out. Christina, I don't know if I've got anyone awake to feed you, lovey. Oh, the nanny is here. Deacon's going to sleep very soon. No! <laughs> oh, no. Deacon? Deacon, you, can you... Oh, he's so broken. Can you feed Christina, please? Um, I'm a little concerned. Can she get her energy up enough to stay awake without being taken away? I'm not convinced. Oh, a bottle. I'll shove that up there. Right, there's another bottle done. The toddlers are fine. Leave him alone. Wayne is fine. Wayne can get his own food. It's the babies you need to rescue. Where are you going? Where are you taking him? What was the point? He was perfectly happy. Wayne, come and get some cake. Right, Deacon, are you feeding Christina? Please. Someone's going to have to make more food. Do you know what? I'm going to order some pizza. I'll let him feed her first because I feel like it's a little dangerous. Where are you going? Where are you going? No, no. She needs food. You doing it? Oh, well done, Deacon. Nanny, please come and feed Sebastian. He can't. Get oh, I locked the door. We're going to end up with babies in the garden, but unlock the door. Oh, my word, Deacon. Deacon has voluntarily come outside to check on one of his own children. <laughs> That's unheard of. But the nanny got there first. Sorry, Deacon, you lose. Right. Deacon, could you make some food? We're going to cook a big meal that's going to serve eight people. We're going to make a party-sized mac and cheese. Hang on. The nanny didn't feed Sebastian. Where's the nanny gone? Oh, he's on the toilet. Please feed Sebastian. Did you cook, Deacon? He's got a whole bunch of things in his queue again. You know what? Pizza. At this point, I've given up trying to eat healthy. Um, can I have a pizza, please? What's got the most energy? <laughs> I'll have a tikka masala pizza, please. Baby's like tikka masala, yeah? Oh, Sebastian. Oh my word, the nanny still hasn't fed him. Nanny! <laughs> He's watching telly. Come and feed Sebastian, please. You've left him outside in the rain. Right, we're going to watch this time to make sure he actually does it. Do you look how confident he is? Come on, come and feed Sebastian, please. No! <laughs> no! Hostage lady. Oh, we've got a smile at her first. Cause, oh, free help. Invite her in. We may need to unlock this door. We're going to have to be right on it, though, to make sure that the two uh, guests don't leave. Oh, she's come to fix something for me. She's going to fix my coffee machine. Deacon, where are you? I need you. Unlock. <gasps> right, invite her in. Take the pizza and then invite him in. Deacon, come back. Deacon, come back. Someone will escape. Quickly. Pizza delivery guy, I need some help. Take the pizza. Oh, could I not get the pizza man in? I can't click on the pizza man. Damn it, I wanted some help. Right, look at it again quickly because I don't want them getting out. I don't want them leaving. Megan. I can't get the pizza man to come into my house, which is a shame. I think he might have been scared off by the before she kicked the baby. She kicked the baby. <laughs> We've got Tina. That's fine. As long as Tina is here. Tina, I need your help. She's tidying up for me, though. Well done. Oh, Tina. Tina, you're an absolute gift from the heavens. Now, I've got a bunch of babies that are starving. Could you feed them, please? Right, smile at Tina. She might give you food. Um, What's going on in here? <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> um, <laughs> are you okay? I think Christina might have a problem. I think we have an issue with Christina and Scarlett. And Sebastian and Ivy, they're all really sad. And still no one has fed Ivy. <laughs> Please, someone feed Ivy. Sebastian doesn't need to be fed, Deacon, put him down. <laughs> oh my word, this is the hardest thing I've ever had to do. Right, Deacon, he hasn't had a shave in so long. Please stop screaming. I can't take the screaming anymore. Are all four of them due to age up tomorrow? 
Oh my red Chris yeah, Christina's due to age up. All of them in the morning. Thank God. Now Deacon is asleep on the floor. <laughs> the random hostage lady is asleep on the floor. Deacon, I need you to make another cake. Could you have some uh oh who drank all the coffee again? Deacon brew another coffee, please. Right, this will get your energy up a bit. Could you eat this as well? Deacon, how do we get you less uncomfortable? Can I just put you to bed? Go and have a sleep, my love. Look at this. Look how lovely and tidy, apart from that, this room is over here. Don't take Ivy in your bedroom. Deacon, I'm warning you now. Ivy will murder you in your sleep. Look at her. Look at her. Deacon, be really careful. What's up with the... Why, why is the puppy sad? Oh, is he hungry? The puppy is hungry. Deacon, you're the only one who can feed the puppy. I'm going to wake you up. I'm so sorry, mate. Oh, Deacon. Deacon, are you about to feed her? Voluntarily? No, I thought not. Come and feed the puppy instead. He puts his starving child down so that he can feed the puppy. And then we need to make another cake because I need to age all of them up so they can look after themselves. I'm going to make a different cake this time. We're going to do a chocolate. Where's the chocolate cake? Because that makes everything better. Chocolate makes everybody happy. Wayne is up. Wayne needs some attention. Hang on. Can you two give each other attention? Come and hug through your hardship. Oh, yes, boys. Talk to, right, hang on. Hang on. Don't eat it. Well done, Deacon. I'm amazed you made that without any supervision. Add candles. Deacon, add some candles. Deacon, add some candles because someone will eat it. Oh, my word. Deacon, please add some candles to the cake before someone eats it. Quick, because Tina's got her eye on it. <laughs> Tina! Oh, no. Right, Deacon, you've got to make another cake. Right, we'll make another cake. <laughs> Deacon, get on it like a car bonnet, please. All the babies are really, really hungry. We've got to age them up now. Otherwise, we're going to lose them all. I can't believe she ate the cake. He was right there. Deacon, you are supposed to be cooking another cake. Did you start? <laughs> no. Deacon, wait, where are you going? You're going to pee. Deacon, you're going to pee any second. Oh, no, he weed on the... He's weed on the bottle. He weed on his child and on the bottle. <laughs> right, okay, so he's gone down again. The nanny is back up, though. Right, Ivy is fed. Gosh, she looks like she wants to kill the dust bunny now. Stop being evil. Right, Deacon, come and cook a cake. Because I've got to get these babies aged up. I'm struggling to cope. We've got three babies, four babies to be aged up. Make another cake, please, Deacon, please. <laughs> I feel like I'm begging now. I'm begging my own sins. Wayne, are you all right? Wayne, go and play in the sand. We're just going to ignore the fact that it's raining and the fact that he's hungry. Right, Kev, come and get a bit of cake. Deacon, have you finished making this? You haven't even started. You haven't even started. Oh, you're having a great time out here, Wayne. Are you enjoying yourself? Why don't you make a sandcastle? Some kids like rain, all right? I'm not neglecting him. Some children really like rain. Right, has he started the cake yet? He started it. Deacon, come finish your cake. Where are you? Oh, did you wee on the evil one? He weed on the evil one. We have a lovely big dirty dog. <laughs> Oh my god, he's so gorgeous. Oh, look. Oh, that's so cute. <laughs> she still looks evil. Deacon, have you finished this cake yet? Because these babies are going to age up without you. Everyone doing all right? Everyone's doing okay. Wayne is a bit peckish. No, Deacon. We need to age the babies up. We don't really have time to sleep. He feels sick. <laughs> he's got nausea. Right, resume the hamburger cake, please. No, 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 the cake's over here. No, no, Deacon, come back. The cake's over here. <laughs> He's so over it. And to be fair, he can't get through. Oh, careful, you stood on a baby. There's babies and toddlers and random people all over the place. Deacon, come back here. Deacon cake. Deacon cake. I've said it before with Deacon, but this sim is going to be the death of me. Come and do the cake. And then you have to shave. Cook. What is he doing? <laughs> Deacon has issues, all right? I'm going to try and squeeze in a shave. I feel he needs one. De no! If only toddlers could cook. Yes! Oh. <laughs> right, who needs to age up first? Is whichever one is the hungriest? 
It's a toss up between the evil one and Christina. Right, we have a cake. No one eat it this time. All of this could have been avoided had Tina not eaten the cake. So you can put it down. Come and put candles on the cake really rather urgently, please. Oh, wow. You've got quite a mess on your hands here. You dirty little hoarder. Excuse me. Who, hang on. Who was saying that? I don't know which one it is. They all look the same. Thank you for judging. You could just help. Oh, it's this person. <gasps> right. Since you criticized, um, welcome in. Nox, go indoors because they're all going to leave. Uh, no, no. <gasps> no, no. No, no. We lost one. Come back. <laughs> Come back. No. <laughs> no, Hillary. Hillary, come back. I've lost the nanny. <laughs> They've all left. Well, we've replaced the nanny and Hillary with Knox. Who has never met the babies, so he's not going to look after them. Great. Right, smile, smile at Knox, and then he'll feed you. <laughs> I got greedy. I did. Please bring... This is going to take all night, isn't it? Please bring uh, Christina over to the cake. That's three. That's three. We've done three. <laughs> She's silly. She got a bonus trait. I wonder what that's going to be. She's an unhappy infant. What a shock. Right, Deacon, refresh the candles. Okay, the next one to age up is going to be Scarlet. Scarlet is the closest to being taken away. So Scarlet is going to be, be aged up now. Yes. Yes. That's four. That's four. I haven't had a single one taken away yet. Oh, she's a charmer. Scarlet grew up to be a charmer. She also has a bonus trait. She was an unhappy infant. <laughs> what a surprise. Okay, who's left? The evil one is going last. It's Seb's turn. Seb aged up on his own. Oh, no. Seb didn't use the cake. Oh, how sad I didn't get proof. It still happened. I just don't have proof, all right? It still happened. Seb is angelic. And let me guess... He has a bonus trait of unhappy infant. <laughs> and we're going for a full house. Last but not least is Evil Ivy. Evil Ivy, come and get aged up, my love. Evil Baby is inquisitive. And let's have a look. Also unhappy. <laughs> there we go. A full house of unhappy infants. I'm so proud of that achievement. <laughs> we believe we actually managed to raise six babies and a dog to their toddlerhood. We did it and we survived. Not one of them got taken away. Thank you so much for supporting me through that absolute ordeal. If you've enjoyed this series, please hit like and subscribe and check out my channel for more Sims content. But for now, have an amazing day and I will catch you next time.